Man, we've worked too hard to not win. We're bringing, we're bringing home the gold. Honestly, I'm honestly very excited and feel like we're gonna do pretty well. I think we have a pretty good routine and honestly, if you put us up against anyone else, I think we're do, gonna do great. Uh, to be honest with you, I really didn't know there was a competition until last week. We have some crazy personalities, some loud personalities, so I feel like we're gonna do pretty good. We have a mix of boys and girls too, which is really helpful. We'll see, I mean, you guys, you guys just saw it, so you, you guys tell us. We're not here to win or lose, we're here to put on a good show. I feel like lip sync so far has affected me um, in the sense of I've gotten to you know, meet and become friends with a lot of people that you know I knew but wasn't close with, so it's been a great experience in that regard. I remember I'm gonna cry. It's really like fun to be a part of something in school because I didn't want to regret not doing anything in school because I didn't do anything last year. It's been really fun. It's teaching me a lot of like leadership qualities. It's helped me build community. It's helped me just have a lot of fun and just really enjoy my last year here at TCU. It's been super humbling and it's taught me so much. Um, I, my freshman year, 2018, I watched Lip Sync and I thought, wow, what a privilege, what an honor. I think the impact it's had on me is to just be more out of my comfort zone uh, and just try new things. Sacrifice, saying no to things outside of practice. Um, we've literally been practicing since the first week of September. I had a lot of fun with it, first of all. It brings me like a lot of joy in my life getting to see these guys. Uh, my grades are down. I don't know if mom and dad will be too happy about that one, but for me personally, um, I have a really full schedule all the time. But I think Lip Sync has kind of brought out the best of me because I'm having to find time to do it. It's really bringing like um, my freshman year is really bringing it over the top. So this is great to really show my face and show who I am and be able to like connect to other people and network just from being like, hey, you're Jaden, I saw you in Lipsy. My favorite memory. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta think about this one, hold on. Oh man, our first practice, that was quite an experience. Seeing Christian in a dress for he could be the one, he just really pulls it off. We were supposed to put someone in a backflip, but she fell on her face and we even recorded it. <laughs> So we have that memory in our brains and in our phones. I remember the rehearsal in which we said, you know what, are we going to do wigs or are we going to dye our hair? Here we are today, and only two of us did it. We kind of got pranked. It sounds funny, but it's like the failed stunts. Having those failures and then watching us rebuild from those and either change what we're doing or um, just continue to build one, and up, one another up in those has been um, really cool to see. Whenever we nail one, it feels really good, and we're like, yes, this is gonna be a super fun idea to put in our lip sync dance. Lip sync impacting the school, I think it's a really cool opportunity to unite a bunch of people. It just brings people together. It brings communities together. Come together. Everybody together. It brings everyone together. I just believe it brings the whole school together, especially out of 2020. Just watch and have a good good time. Like, look around here. You guys are sitting next to five or 6,000 other, other people right now. Like, it just breaks down walls that, like, normally wouldn't be, like, broken down in a really unique way. You know, it's kind of like a coffee shop. You, you don't feel uncomfortable meeting people here. I very much enjoy that. How do we genuinely glorify the Lord in our practices and our performance and what that looks like? It's like an honor for me to be able to entertain people, people who maybe just stay in their rooms all day, people who don't go out, people who get to go to this event and share with the whole body a magical night, a magical experience. If I had to pick an 80s movie, I would be in. I would love to be in Heather's because I would definitely be Heather number one instead of the actual original Heather. Oh, most definitely Star Wars, simply because I really need that purple lightsaber and I would also bring a lot of diversity to the cast. I think I'll be Airplane. It is just so weird and quirky and every once in a while I'll just like blurt out something and people are just like, what? Definitely Ferris Bueller's Day Off because everybody wants a good day off of school, especially in college. I mean, I'm not much of a movie guy. Isn't Sharknado from the 80s? Honestly, I would probably pick Return of the Jedi. Um, real favorite of mine. No really reason why I would pick that movie. Um, but yeah, I really loved it growing up as a child and just, it's a very like family friendly film. So.